So this is a slightly more complex example. This time we have three tasks instead of just two, but we're going to have the same basic setup. We're going to be looking at how much time it takes to solve this entire problem by putting together each of those tasks, seeing how long each one of them runs, and just adding them together. So this time, task one requires three instances of task two. Task two, in turn, requires 10 instances of task three. So you can say, well, we need to run task three 10 times just to start task two. But we need three instances of task two before we can start task one. So in order to run task one, we need three instances of task two. And each one of those needs 10 instances of task three. So for one instance of task one, we will need three instances of task two. And for each instance of task two, I need 10 instances of task three. So I need three times 10, which will give me 30 instances of task three. 10 for each instance of my task two. So I'll need to run task one once, task two three times, and task three 30 times total, just to find out how long it takes to run this entire workload. So to calculate our execution time, we'll have one instance of task one, and task one will take 10 microseconds. So 10 microseconds. So that's how long it takes to run task one. We'll need to run three instances of task two. So we have three times 100 nanoseconds. And now we'll need 30 instances of task three. And task three is taking five microseconds. So we've got a couple different sized units here. And we will want to convert all of those into seconds so they fit nicely into our performance equation. So we have 10 microseconds and 150 microseconds. So that gives me 160 microseconds. And I have 300 nanoseconds over here. And that will give me 0.3 microseconds. So in total, that's 160.3 microseconds or 160.3 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Now I can get rid of the times 10 to the minus 6 by adding a whole bunch of zeros in the front, or I can convert this to normalized scientific notation by moving the decimal point over two places. That would give me 1.603 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. And then that I can put into the performance equation and we'll get actual performance number out. But for our execution time, this is how long we should expect this task to take. 